Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing off my steelbook collection. And I have 24 titles so far. And we will start with Lumberto Baba's Demons and Demons 2. And this was presented by Dario Argento. And this is a limited edition. And it was available since 2012 and it just recently went out of print and it's going for some pretty good money now those are the two covers I have actually opened this and watched it and the quality is very good it's just as good as the synapse steelbooks which I have those two I will show those in a separate video but this recently sold out and it's going for some pretty good money right now but it was available for a couple of years at a really good price I think I've seen these now for about 40 to 50 bucks and this is a very good steel book so that is Demons and Demons 2 next up we have some Lucio Fulci classics and the first title is Zombie Flesh Eaters also known as Zombie or Zombie 2 and this is one of my favorite covers right here. Arrow really did a good job on this release. As they do with all their releases. And this one here I have still sealed. But I also have it in one of these little plastic sleeves that I purchased from overseas. There's a company in the UK that sells these little sleeves. And it's they're pretty good. I mean, it protects your steelbooks from getting scratched up. And it's hard to put it on with one hand, but can I just bump it in? <clears throat> that is Zombie Flesh Eaters. I'm trying to show you without the glare. This is the strong uncut version. I also have the Arrow Video Slip Box Edition. And this is a limited edition, but I don't know what the count was for the unit, so. If anybody knows how many of these were released, please comment below. That's Zombie Flesh Eaters. Next up is another Fulci classic, City of the Living Dead. And a lot of people say that this is their favorite cover, and I can't disagree. It's a really, that's their commissioned artwork, and that's really, really cool. This is also limited edition. Um, most of these, if not all of these steel books, are limited. I don't know what the count was. The only one I know for sure was Maniac Cop was lim limited to 2,000. And I will get to that one later. But this one is City of the Living Dead. Next up is my last Fulci steel book. And this is The Beyond. And it's another great cover. This is the two disc limited edition. It has a high definition presentation. Um, disc two is the DVD and this one is region free, ABC. Let me double check the first couple that I showed. I forgot to check those out. Um, City of the Living Dead is region free. Zombie Flesh Eaters is, looks like it's Region B locked. And Demons looks like it's Region B. So I have not tried those on a Region A player. Again, if anybody knows, please comment below. Next up, I have some Roger Corman, Vincent Price goodies here. This is Edgar Allan Poe's The Fall of the House of Usher. And I showed this in a previous video for from my uh, Vincent Price box set from Arrow and this is one of my favorite Vincent Price movies it's a very very good movie and I think it was ahead of its time and this one looks like it's region B locked and again it's uh, a limited edition steelbook you may still be able to find these on eBay somewhere 
um, I like the way that they even have the J card um, match up with the, the artwork on the steel book. When you take this J card off, it's it's seamless. I mean, it's the the steel book continues, but I, I like the way that they added that little piece of paper on there, that J card. Next one is Edgar Allan Poe's *The Pit and the Pendulum*, and that is some amazing artwork right there too. This one is Region B, locked. And I have not opened up the steel book, so I don't. Oh well, the the quality is going to be exactly the same as the box set. They just this is just different packaging now at this point. Here is Theater of Blood, and I like that artwork as well. I'm filming with a, a light on my camera this time on my cell phone. I'm hoping that maybe it will pick up some of the details a little bit better than what I've been getting. I hope you guys can see the quality a little bit better. This one's Region B. Next I have some Japanese exploitation films. This first one is Battle Royale and I know this was one of their first steel books that was released. This one's a little bit harder to get these days. And this is the three disc special edition. And this is region B locked. This one is actually open, so I can see if I can uh, open this up for you guys here. Actually, yeah, I should be able to pop this out. Take a look inside here. You got. Uh, got a lobby card here for the house by the cemetery which does not have a steelbook release so far anyway and on the back you have the the, the famous little um, art card that they have for their previous titles so you've seen this a million times I'm sure and you have a little booklet and this is probably, it's like about 15 pages it says, and it just shows some, it's got some essays and some stills from the movie. Very good quality. There's a nice little scene for you right there. This is a pretty good movie. It's kind of like a, um, a Hunger Games type movie, and this actually came out years before the Hunger Games. I prefer this a little bit better than the Hunger Games, but that's just me. That's what the poster looks like when you get the box set. And here are the discs. I'll remove this so you can see some of the inside artwork. Let's see if I can pull this out. It's disc. Disc one is the Blu-ray region B. And that's a shame. I mean, these companies should all be region free. Maybe someday they will all be region free. Now if you look at the inside artwork here, if I can move that without getting a glare, you can see it's the classroom photo, which is actually the poster too, like I said before. So put these back in. Looks like um, this Two is a Blu-ray region B, the director's cut of the film. Disc one is the theatrical cut. And disc three is the DVD with the special features. So that is Battle Royale. Next is Lady Snowblood. And I have not opened this one, but I do plan to. I heard it's a pretty nice little, um, not quite a slasher, but it's got some good slashing gore in it with uh, Japanese swords and katanas and such. And that is Lady Snowblood. This one is Region B. 
contains strong, bloody violence and gore. That's what we like. And the third Japanese title that I have is White of the Eye. A film by Donald Kamel, and I have to admit I do not know much about his work. Limited edition steelbook region B. Plan on watching this someday too. Maybe I'll have a double feature someday with these. Maybe on a Friday night or Saturday night. Next up I have George A. Romero's Day of the Dead. So this is um, this is actually one of my favorite zombie movies and I'm sure a lot of you people feel the same way. It's right up there with Day of the Dead and I know you have the Dawn of the Dead camp and then you have the Day of the Dead camp and people are kind of split on the two. I like them both just about equally. I really like the character of Bub in this one. And I have a full-size mask of Bub. Maybe someday I'll show that. Um, this is an ABC region free. Uh, that is George A. Romero's Day of the Dead. Don't have to say too much about that. Everybody's seen that movie. Next up is The Burbs. And I watched this one not too long ago. And it's a very good movie. I hadn't seen it probably in about 10 or 15 years until I got this. <clears throat> so it was good to revisit this movie. And this is a great classic. And Arrow did a really good job with this one. And I will open it up for you. This is uh, says it's Region B. So you may have to get a Region Free player to watch this. But you got a nice little booklet in here. Looks like it's over 30 pages some classic scenes in there. Here's the, the actress. I, her name escapes me at the moment, but she actually voices Francine on American Dad. She's in that movie. It's a young Tom Hanks, a young Corey Feldman. This is a very good movie. And then we have the Blu-ray with nice artwork on the Blu-ray. And we have a couple of stills from the movie. They're in black and white, but they're very crisp. Pictures came out very nice. Oops. So that is the burbs. And let's take a look at the back artwork here. You got that trunk full of skulls. How cool is that? Next up, we have Terry Gilliam's Time Bandits. And I also have this available for anybody out there who would like to purchase it. I have the um, Arrow Amory case, and I can show that in another video. But I'm selling it. Um, I'm keeping the steelbook. I'm going to sell the Blu-ray uh, the, in the keep case. I'm looking for um, 20 bucks shipped. And it's like new. It comes with the artwork, uh, the booklet, and all that stuff. So if anybody's interested, please leave a comment below, and we can work something out. Um, the the picture quality and the audio quality are very, very good. And this this is a very good steel book. I recommend anybody to pick this one up. Next up are a couple of Dario Argento films. And the first one is Tenebrae. And I have this in the Arrow Slipbox edition too, but I do not mind double dipping, especially when it, I mean, look, look at that. Why wouldn't you want to double dip? And plus I like steelbooks anyway, so I want to try to get all the Arrow steelbooks. So that is Tenebrae. And, um, I forgot to tell you what that was. This is Region B, and it says it's Region 2 for DVD. So this one must be locked. And here is Phenomena. Young Jennifer Connelly. And she was still really pretty even as a young kid. You can tell she was going to be beautiful when she was younger. 
it looks like this one is region free it looks like it's ABC so it's it's great news for some of you guys without region free players but I recommend that you take that next step guys and, and buy a uh, region free player there's so much goodness from overseas that you may be missing out on if you don't you know treat yourself a little bit get yourself a region free player you can pick one up for anywhere from a hundred to even 150 get a Sony region free player for 150 and you, there you go you're good here is John Travolta and Nancy Allen in a Brian De Palma film blowout which is a very good movie I, I really recommend this one um, the ending I'm not gonna give anything away but th that ending was pretty good it, it kind of gave me chills at the end so uh, this one is a uh, region B and yeah, that's about all I can say for that one. If you haven't seen this one, pick it up. Um, you can get it on Criterion, or uh, Arrow has a um, keep case version, or this steel book. So uh, get it in one way or another and check it out. If you haven't watched it, that's a good one. And here's another Brian De Palma, um, Phantom of the Paradise. And I'll be honest, I... I tried to like this one. I I really tried to like it and I just it fell short for me. I I like the artwork and I'm gonna keep the steel book. And that's a really cool cover. Unfortunately the movie fell short for me. I I just couldn't like it. I know some of you really like this movie and I've seen reviews where people rave about this movie, but I I couldn't get into it. And it's region B. Let's see. But, um, you know, I, I guess if you can find the steelbook for a good price, if you like the collectible value, then pick it up. If, if you love the movie, I mean, Arrow does a great job with their releases, so you can't go wrong. A couple more here. I got um, a Toby Hooper film, Life Force, which this is a great movie, Vampires in Space. And I'm going to open this one up for you guys here. I can do so without... They got those little glue dots in there, and it's hard to peel this back with one hand. So I may not be able to open this for you. Let me see if I can peel this part off. I like to keep the J cards with the steel book because it kind of gives it it, it kind of gives it a little extra protection on the back from scratches. But it's also kind of cool to display it like that. But oh, there you go. We have a uh, little flyer for. Tom Hanks and the Burbs, which I just showed you a little while ago. And then again, we have the... I've seen that a million times. And this one comes with a pretty thick booklet. I, about 30-something, or 27 pages. And it, Oops, excuse me. It uh, kind of goes over some of the scenes in the movie. And it's got some extras in there. And This one is a two-disc set. Looks like it's Region B. And the first disc is the Blu-ray. And the second disc is also Blu-ray. And it says disc two is the theatrical version. And disc one is the international version. You go There you go right there. I think I saw the international version. I should check out the theatrical and see what's different. But then you got some artwork in there. Pretty cool. Really nice. Good job, Arrow. So that is Life Force. And next we have Big Trouble in Little China. And I just watched this a couple weeks ago. For, uh, it had been like maybe 10 years since I saw it before that and, and it's fun it's a really fun movie Kurt Russell is great in this movie and it looks like this is a region B and we can open this one up <clears throat> I'm sure many of you have seen this already it's it's a cult classic and it's got a lot of cheesy fun this is kind of a popcorn movie you know just go pop yourself a bowl of popcorn and sit back and then just have fun for an hour and a half I really like this movie. It's another 30-something page booklet. It's got some really nice 
scenes in there. I'm hoping that the camera's picking this up for you guys. And you have <clears throat> Region B. And you have some really nice artwork on the inside. So this, I recommend getting this one. If you can find a steel book, get it for a good price. Grab it. I mean, that's look at that commissioned artwork from Arrow. So that is Big Trouble in Little China. We got a couple more here. We got Pam Greer as Foxy Brown. I have not opened this one yet. I don't know what the quality is. I'm assuming it's good, though. It's uh, Arrow does a good job. And this one is Region B. And that is Pam Greer as Foxy Brown. Then we have the Invasion of the Body Snatchers. And this is the remake from 1977, I believe. Not seen it on the back, but I believe this was um, 77 or 78, uh, late 70s. And this is Region B. And this is a great movie. Donald Sutherland is in, in this one. And um, yeah, this is one of your uh, better alien abduction type movies. I'll check that out. And we have Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And this is over-the-top cheese. This is a great fun film. Looks like this one is Region B, Blu-ray and Region 2 DVD. Have not opened this one up. I I haven't seen Killer Clowns on Blu-ray yet. I've, I still have the DVD of it. So I'm thinking one of these days I'm gonna pop this open just to check out the quality. But this is always has always been a fun movie for me. That's Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Got two more here for you. Christopher Walken is King of New York, limited edition. And I, I love mafia, mob movies and gangster movies. That's probably my second favorite genre after horror. I like mob movies even more than I like sci-fi. And this one is Region B and uh, Blu-ray and Region 2 DVD. And it looks like Comes with the little booklet up there. Comes with the two DVDs. I've not opened this up yet, so I haven't. I didn't. I don't know the audio or uh, picture quality yet. So, but that, that's a really cool cover, though. Of all the things Arrow is good for, their artwork might be one of their top things. I mean, they have so much going for them right now. They have the the covers, and they have. Um, the restorations and they have the artwork on the inside and the booklets and the posters and right now I think Arrow is the king so last but not least is William Lustig's Maniac and I'll give you guys a little tip about this one a couple months ago well actually about maybe I'll go back a little bit further about six or seven months ago Arrow revealed that they have a golden ticket in one of their releases. And I think it's for a, a year free of releases, of their releases, or it might be a lifetime. I, I can't remember what exactly what it is. But a couple months ago, they revealed that it was in one of their Maniac Cop steelbooks. Strictly steelbook. Maniac Cop steelbook. So at the time, I had this bad boy sealed up. But as you can see, I couldn't wait and I popped it open. And let's see if I had the steel or the golden ticket. We'll, we'll find out. Wah, 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 wah. No steel ticket. No uh, golden ticket. So somebody out there with a Maniac Cop steel book has the golden ticket. So if you have the Maniac Cop steel book sitting on your shelf somewhere and it's still sealed up, might want to pop that bad boy open and this was only limited to 2000 so you know there's an even better chance of you winning it because I didn't win it so 
Let me see. Check out the inside artwork. And this is a region free. There's the Maniac Cops here. This is the, the transfer and the, the audio and, vi and the visual quality is just phenomenal on this. Really good. As it, it was on the uh, Slipbox edition as well. I have this movie a couple different times. I, I love this movie. I have it on DVD too. So that was my Arrow Steelbook collection. You can comment below and tell me what your favorite steelbook is or which copies you have. And I would like to hear from you. Tell me what your favorite one is. And I think the next video I make might be my Blu-ray Amory cases from Arrow. Or I might just uh, shift over to a different uh, label for a little bit. I've been doing Arrow for a couple of videos in a row now. I might show you my shameless titles. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.